Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Sabbath Box Beltane Box. I did an unboxing for my last Sabbath Box and some of you seem to really enjoy it so I figured I would continue doing that so long as it's content that you continue enjoying to see. I know most people like unboxings but I don't do any subscription boxes for books because I don't like all of the tchotchkes that come in there. It's not always pertaining to like a book that I like or half the time I don't even know what they are pertaining to. So I do unboxings of when I order like hangover recovery kits like my uh, hangover recovery kit for Blood Witch which I will link in the description box below if you're interested in watching that. But I do get these Sabbath boxes. I figured I would do unboxings of those. So if you enjoy unboxings of weird random things, then you will have that. As I said in the previous video, these boxes come completely unmarked. So if you are not open to the world uh, about your pagan and or Wiccan and or whatever religion that you associate with, if the world does not know that. These are completely blank. There's nothing on them that would lead anyone to believe that that is what is in here. Let's open it, shall we? We'll give you guys the first view. Maybe. Ta-da! This is the Rune Box. It is a 2019 Beltane Sabbath box. So this contains your information of what is in the box and it also has um, descriptions of what the holiday is, when the holiday is, and all that information. So if you're someone that is new to the craft it would be very informative for you and very helpful. That is one reason why I like these boxes. They are curated to be based off of a specific holiday. Therefore if you are just starting your practicing this would have everything that you would need to do some kind of a ritual for the holiday. But also as someone who has been collecting and practicing for a long time there's also things in here that I don't currently own. Just giving you some information off of the information card. Beltane is May 1st. It falls on the same day each year. It is the Germanic festival of Walpurgisnacht. Mm -hmm. It begins the night prior. It was originally observed by Celts of Western Europe, Ireland, and Scotland, and it can be traced back to some of the earliest Irish literature. So I guess that there's a bunch of information on here about what the holiday is and what it means. So if you are someone who is unfamiliar with that, all the information is right here. So the first thing in here is actually a coupon for Oramnos Oddities that I'm assuming that they probably have something in the box and then have added a coupon for that. And there is a card in here as well for them. Typically that means that there's something by them in here and they have curated some parts of the box. Ooh, pretty. A lot of really cool stuff in this one. Let's pull out this wood block. It's wood. According to my spoiler card, it is a handcrafted home protection bind rune tea light holder. So the rune is basically a home protection rune and you can light your candle and help protect your home. I know what this is. First off, this velvet pouch is glorious. It feels wonderful. A wooden rune set. So this is a laser etched poplar rune set with info card and velvet bag. It only makes sense that the rune box would include a perfect set of divinatory runes to help you become acquainted with these mystic symbols. Each rune in your set was hand cut from the same poplar wood branch in order to maintain energetic continuity of the tree in which it came from. There is a page in here that gives you a description of what all of the runes mean and also how you can do different readings with the runes. So if you choose to do rune divination, you can learn how to do that or if you already know how to do it. A very nifty set of runes. I currently do not have a set of runes. I used to have one, um, but they were monstrously destroyed. Next is Black Dragon's Blood Beeswax Spell Candles. These are from Beesome Candles and they are tea lights that I may be able to open. Tea light candles infused with dragon blood incense which is one of my favorite pagany smells. I love dragon's blood. There's more stuff in here but I don't see it so I'm assuming that it has probably fallen beneath the shrapnel. Yes. The, the shrapnel. There are more things below the shrapnel. My cats really love the paper. Next we have it's carved black agate stone with a talisman on it. You can see it's got the it is essentially like um the Viking Norse runes that 
represent protection against losing one's way or difficult obstacles, as well as a bag and an information card about what the rune means. It also includes one rune card um, that gives you like a larger view of the rune and it's kind of like a, it, your own personal fortune reading. And it was, says that each card was selected randomly for each box. So should be that every box should have, well not every box should have a different different card, but they will have different stones in them, different cards in them. So that's an interesting little, since they're doing like a rune box, that's really cool. They also have a correspondence guide with different runes on it, different types of runes and history of them and what the runes mean and symbols so that you can learn how to do that as well to help you with your rune journey. And the last item in this is a little bit of runes. It is a book by Cassandra Eason. It is an introduction to Norse divination. So it is just a small book that talks about runes, how to use them, how to do different sorts of divination with it. So basically just a really informative guide on runes. That is everything that was inside my Beltane Sabbat box. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything that you've seen. I'll try to explain it a little better if I can. And also let me know if you're enjoying this content or not. If nobody likes it then I'll stop doing it. But for now I'm going to continue doing it because so many of you seem to like the last one. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book and whatever in the hell this is related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!